Just talking about Christmas, I wonder if I could commission Nate to really quickly make a Christmas version of this song. I mean, if you just get some sleigh bells, yeah, just just shake some sleigh bells, some (laughs) sleigh bells, (laughs) some sleigh bells, just shake some sleigh bells, and that's all you got to do to make it all Christmassy. Um, That's essentially what the Batman Arkham Origin soundtrack did. They were like, "Oh shit, this place takes place during Christmas, right?" Yeah. Uh, add some church bells and some sleigh bells, and we're good. Christmas. Bum, and, uh, bum, 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 <laughs> bum, bum. You, you just need that. Yeah, 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 just build that into a late motif somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're nowhere it. near Christmas. We don't we're need the- Nate. We don't- <laughs> I'm sorry. No, we uh, want to commission Nate. Uh, we're Nate's in the- a cool guy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's in the middle of sweltering fucking hot July, not yeah. Christmas. <laughs> Wishful thinking this is. Uh, hey, everyone. Welcome. Like we even know what snow is. We live in Southern California, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> well, we can travel to see snow every winter. It's no. always it's always there. You know, you, you see That's it just performative distance. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's performative snow. <laughs> uh, welcome to Newbie Star Trek, everyone. Welcome. Hi. If you're uh, new, hello. welcome. Well, uh, I'm Marvin. I'm here with Dan and Ricardo. Hey guys. How I'm guys the Dan. Doing? Hello. I'm me. How He's the Ricardo of this outfit. That's the Ricardo. <laughs> He's the Ricardo of this joint. And uh he uh it's called Newbie Star Trek because Ricardo before this this podcast had never watched Star Trek before. So now no. we're going through all of it with him, starting with TNG, uh, which is hot take the best Star Trek. But <laughs> Uh, but but no. Nah. Wow! I will <laughs> fight you. That, <laughs> uh, but if you're a, if you've been a long time listener, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thanks for joining us again, and uh, you know Apple Podcast reviews and all that shit. But you know only if you want to again, whatever. It's that type of thing. But in any case, uh, this episode we watched this week was Contagion, and despite the name, it is not necessarily a viral outbreak episode. It's more of like a ancient a com- mystery episode. I don't ancient know. Ancient mystery. Yeah, there is like a almost like a computer virus component. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, that's that, yeah. that's the inciting incident, and then it's like. But it it does feel like a very quick rehash of an idea we saw just an episode or two ago. Yeah, with the Klingon vessel, um, and the little thing that was like you know destroying their holes oh yeah yeah and, and then like they're they're both kind of like what are you doing well no what are you doing uh, yeah uh, but, you know. <laughs> felt a little dude. like it yeah. <laughs> uh contagion aired on march 20th of 1989 dan we're gonna we're gonna go warp 10 around the sun and could you tell us what happened around that date we have that kind of power. I know. It that uh, March 20th was actually a whole month after the air date of the previous episode. Mm. So I'm just going to give a quick little summary of the points that stood out the most to me. Um, on March 1st, New York Stories, an anthology film composed of three segments about people in New York, directed by Martin Scorsese, Francis Ford Coppola, and Woody Allen, was released. Ooh. Um, so yeah, it's, I mean, th- there's a lot of notable or recognizable names in there. Um, it's probably worth checking out if you're a fan of those guys. Yeah, uh, it's fine. However, um, the movie that was top of the box office for the majority of that time was actually uh, Lean on Me, which oh. starred Morgan Freeman. Um, uh, it was a biopic about a New Jersey high school principal named Joe Lewis Clark, um, who was hired to turn a New Jer- that New Jersey high school around um, because mm-hmm. it was about to stop being a school because it was too overrun with drugs and whatever. Um, okay. I never heard I wonder of this if he, I wonder if he succeeded. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. The film just ends like really, really depressingly. Like imagine, what was that movie with- um, Stand and Deliver? Yeah, yeah. It just, they, it just ends with, and no one learned calculus. Yeah. <laughs> Their AP, it just shows a, a, a roster of AP scores. One, two, one, one, one two. two. <laughs> the zero somehow. And then, Three and then void. <laughs> void. 
Um, <laughs> oh, that would be depressing. Uh, okay, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> But uh, the Louvre in France uh, inaugurated its famous pyramid. Oh, I was hoping you were going to say the Louvre got robbed. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, the Declaration of Independence is robbed from the Louvre. From the Louvre. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, National Treasure 2 really should have been all about Nicolas Cage becoming the president of the I United know. States. Yeah. I think I've said this before on, on the Fugitive Games channel, at least. But when I first saw the National Treasure 2 trailer... I, I swear to God, Nicolas Cage was about to say, I have to become the president of the United yeah. States. Because it leads up with like, oh, the president is, you know, knows all of the secrets yeah. about America. They tell yeah. all the secrets to the president. And then so amazing. Nicolas Cage has to become the president, clearly. Well, I think also the, the, the kind of lame part of National Treasure 2 is that you're hoping that him kidnapping the, the president. The lame part of National Treasure. Well, no, listen, listen. <laughs> National Treasure one is a fun time. I, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't bemoan it. And I think National Treasure two could have upped the ante. It's even better. Well, yes, I, you're well, right. No, well, no. I actually think it's worse because of lost potential. Because I think what what it should have happened is Nicholas Cage is like Vin Diesel. I have, I have to, I have to to, to kidnap the president, but he does it like in the movie, he does it like halfway through the movie and it's like one scene and then he runs, right? Mm -hmm. What if he had to do it like 15 minutes into the movie and the movie becomes a buddy movie between Nicolas Cage and the president and they have to hang out the whole movie and it turns out the president is like, you know what, Nicolas Cage or Benjamin Gates, you're a cool guy. Yeah. And, you know, we're going to hang out. And the president is like, man, I'm so glad to be out of that stuffy office doing some crazy kick ass shit with you, Benjamin Gates. When this is all over, are you you're saying the pre- full- Are you saying the president <laughs> should have been Princess Jasmine? <laughs> Yeah, or like you know, lots of these, uh, lots of these like kidnap movies, right? Where like you know, like goes the goes the the you know all movie. those fun kidnap movies. No, this is like a you, genre. Yeah, like, I know. Yeah, where yeah, you yeah. show the, where you show that person you kidnap a good time and they well, love that's you. That's literally a genre. I know. Movie. <laughs> Shut up! I know. <laughs> like, what was that kid? The, the Hitchcock movie? I forget. Like where that happens? Where um, he, he it's it's uh, fuck, I forget. I think it's I think it's Carrie Grant. Psycho. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Birds. Uh, birds. Um, <laughs> before we get too far, uh, I I I do want to say this. Uh, National Treasure one and two is directed by the same guy, mm-hmm. uh, John Turtletop. Mm-hmm. And little little trivia, he also directed Cool, cool Runnings. Mm-hmm, he did. Mm-hmm. And yes, yes. Three Ninjas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, that guy's I mean, got a career. Put it out there. Rocky's the best. Yeah, but then, but then he followed up National Treasure to with the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Yeah, which yeah, is, yeah. Uh, But he did the Meg, <laughs> the Meg with the great, opus. the great British actor, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, artiste of his generation, <laughs> um, Jason Statham. So well, when will I he be knighted? Say, when is he going to be Sir soon, Jason dude, Statham? I, I hope they, they televise it. Like I think they that's when Queen needs when, to die first. <laughs> <laughs> when Timmy or 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 Pete or whatever his name has got married and they they just televised it, yeah, yeah. Okay, Royal I know wedding. that at least some of our listenership is in the UK, and I'm sorry for that. That, <laughs> yeah. was, very, that was very glib of me. Yeah, yeah. unless no, you but, don't like the but, Queen either. Some yeah. some some UK people don't. So yeah, they're yeah. they're disgruntled yeah. royal uh, people there. Take Look, it however you want to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but just but, know but that if, when I am at home in my in my pajamas, I'm very irreverent. Maybe <laughs> maybe royals. some maybe maybe one of our listeners. I'm a true American. Yeah, knows, see. M- knows a queen and can get in on it and say, hey, oh. we need a knight fucking Jason Statham. What if, like, yeah, and, it, and that's actually what got the ball rolling. And then yeah, Jason yeah. Statham goes, yeah. why me? And oh, yeah. he's all, fuck you, mate, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He dude. gets knighted, then stands yeah. up and roundhouse kicks the queen. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> he's like, I, I have to. Um, but but, Simple, but I'll say, never get another chance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you bring the Meg and National Treasure into the, the cinematic universe together, you know? <laughs> And then you have them searching for treasure uh, and the, the sharks after them. Even well, the online. thing is, I, you don't have to even do that. I think National Treasure as a franchise could easily fold into the Fast franchise. You know, they both have a similar different, level different of ridiculousness. Companies, but that's yeah, I guess, true. I that's true. Yeah. They're, but that's happened before. Like This isn't Roger Rabbit, dude. If, Come on. It, but, no, but the thing is, no, no. I mean, like fucking, uh, what was that? The 
uh, Glass was a collaboration between Disney and like some other company. Uh, right? That's true. All oh, right, we were still uh, going around the sun, weren't we? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, dude. Sorry. Today it's a very big sun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. My next piece of news: Star Trek relevant, but sad. Um, Anton Yelkin or Anton Yelchin, uh, mm. the guy who played Chekhov in the Abrams Trek and was, uh, I mean, I liked him in that movie. Yeah, yeah. he was great. He was born on He's a March good actor 11th in of general. that year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. He was born March 11th of 1989. Uh, unfortunately, he has already passed away in the year yeah. 2016. Very unless, unless actually. you're listening to this and there's time travel and he's not dead in your timeline. Hmm? Who knows? Hmm. Who knows what timeline you're listening if, to? On if this? you're in Anton's current timeline in which he is alive, Warn him. Yeah. tell him, uh, stay away from his own gate, please. Yeah. Also, and, tell, and tell him to get rid of that Jeep Grand Cherokee. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 don't, yeah. Don't buy Jeeps. Also, also, Jeep Cherokee, if you want to sponsor us, we <laughs> love Jeep Cherokees. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh, okay no. <laughs> uh two two small tags they're, they, they're barely relevant but it, it, it's news damn it in Mar march 13th the fda the fda recalled all chilean fruit in the u.s due to a cyanide scare Ooh, and, <laughs> and somewhere in the middle of all that police academy six released chilean yeah, cyanide. Dude. Uh, is is police academy six the moscow mission no that's five right I would not know. I don't oh know. My God. Come on, dude. Okay, it's apparently Police Academy Six: City Under Siege. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So, is so that it's that like, one where the city was under attack. Is that the Die Hard of Police Academies, where they have to? <laughs> no, I think Mission to Moscow was like was like a. I remember it being okay, and then and then it got bad again. City <laughs> Under Siege is like the two towers of Police Academies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I oof. said that with no context in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just piecing crap together here. Yeah, let's hope the city's not New York. Yeah. Hey, let's talk about Star Trek. Man. <laughs> let's yeah. talk about some fucking Star Trek. That apparently, Police Academy Six, by the way, has a zero percent Rotten Tomatoes. Well, <laughs> so that's oh no, that's oh no. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, you know what doesn't have a zero percent in our book? Express VPN. And you know why? Because it's a good yeah. VPN. And they are sponsoring our podcast again this week. And you know what? You know the spiel. You want a good VPN that's quality, not just free, not just cheap. Express VPN is great because it has really good security. Um, I guess a feature I haven't talked about before is like their lightweight protocol, which means that um, basically when a VPN tries to connect, it has to go through a bunch of servers and stuff to like, you know, connect. Mm -hmm. um, Express VPN and uh, created their own protocol that allows you to connect, especially on like a phone, it connects like almost as soon as you press the button, yeah. which is very good because if you're traveling, right, you're in a car and you have your VPN all on, on your phone on all the time, like I do, um, you can have like problems happen if the protocol doesn't switch fast enough, especially if you have like GPS on or something. And uh, this one does, there's like no issues. ExpressVPN honestly used to have issues with this until they added that. Mm -hmm. And uh, now it's That's great. Neat. Yeah. Um, uh, look, last last week we talked about about the content you can unlock with VPNs. This week we should we should I wanted to talk about another thing, which is um, another use for it. I, I should say, um, especially now that like everything's opening up, everyone's going to like restaurants and they're people traveling again. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go to a hotel and just log on to the old hotel internet all raw dogging it if you know what i mean <laughs> you want to use a vpn dude uh mm -hmm. because there's a lot of sketchy stuff there's a lot of sketchy characters at hotels mm -hmm. not only is there sketchy stuff on the bed uh <laughs> but there's also sketchy stuff over the internet so it's good to just pop that vpn on and then you, you're safe on on the local hotel wi-fi also yeah. like if you go to a comic con or one, any any con anime con anything like that yeah uh you're you're in the convention center and they have free wi-fi yeah, you should log on to a VPN before you log on to the free Wi Fi. <laughs> yeah. Could, yeah. I mean, if that works at all. Yeah. And, and you know what? At Comic Con, the last few years, it worked perfectly. Better. It did get better. Yeah. I yeah, remember being yeah. able to uh, actually use the, the convention center Wi Fi versus. Because they started my, bringing in those trailers with yeah, the Wi Fi. Actions. And your phone, at, at Comic Con, your phone is like your 
the, the antenna, the whatever connection, the actual yeah. cellular network is, is garbage yeah. Yeah. near the convention center. It just does not work. So many people are, are on it, but yeah, <laughs> and, but this year uh, specifically this last year, last year I went, sorry, not this year. This year is stupid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the last year I went, the company started sponsoring the free Wi-Fi. So like AT&T mm. showed up and it'd be like, Hey, check our, our, our offers. And then you get a free Wi-Fi. So you'd mm. watch a commercial and then that's you get true. Free yeah. AT&T that's what they did. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they were. And they would have like giant trailers with the antennas and stuff. Yeah. Free yeah. Wi-Fi. Actually, um, speaking of traveling, you know, did you, this is like a, just a general trick with any VPN, honestly. Um, if you want to get like better, like flight rates, like for air travel, it's better to actually change your VPN location to a city that is not any of the locations you're traveling from or going to, because then sites like Trivago or Kayak or whatever, they take into account your location and then they go, oh, like this is not a priority flight for you because you're not traveling to or from the city you are at, Um, we'll offer lower prices. And that's actually a thing. Like I actually have done this a few times. It's not always a lot. Like I, on average, save like $10 that way. But sometimes I've seen like up to $50, $60 being saved just because I'm in a different city on my VPN. 10 to 60 bucks is like three cookies at an airport shop. So there you go. Damn, man. And like if you (laughs) save just $6.67, that is how much a month costs if you sign up at expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And you know that's a if you go sign up for twelve years there you get three months free. So twelve yeah, years. We did, we, we did a lot of uh, talking about our VPN, but but that's because because we like it. Yeah. We did like I say twelve VPN. years? I meant twelve you months. Said, you did. Yes, say you 12 did years. say 12 it's twelve years. months. Yeah. Sorry, twelve now months. Now you have to honor that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Express VPN, you're on the hook now. <laughs> twelve years. Uh, yeah. 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 So just go to expressvpncom star trek and yeah, it's a it's a oh, yeah. it's a it's pretty pretty good deal. I yeah. know it's not. The cheapest VPN out there, not by a long shot, but I honestly it's think one of the best. it's one of the better quality VPNs. Yeah. And and for my book, I care about security the most for VPN out of almost anything else. And ExpressVPN's track record and security is impeccable. Like you can do the yeah. research yourself, check it out. But It's not a Bentley, it's a Volvo. It's safe, it's going to get you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd say it's even better than a Volvo. I think it's like- Volvos are great, dude. Why are you shitting on Volvo, dude? Volvo sponsor us, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the best of both worlds like the safety yeah. of a volvo with like the niceness of a bentley you oh should have saved that line for season three <laughs> yeah. uh you know i was gonna say something but as a spoiler so i'm not gonna say it but don't say it don't say i'm it. not don't gonna say it instead me, denise crosby is gonna say this ricardo could you please tell us what happened in this episode Finally, yeah. the Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, this episode was kind of it's kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't it's not bad. as bad as the last episode. No, it wasn't bad. It's just very stupid. Um, <laughs> like basically, all I had to do is turn on the computer on like yeah, safe mode and the, delete that, some things. It's funny that that's considered like the the oh my god, of course, yeah, solution yeah. Yeah. to it all. Literally, turn it on and off again. Yeah. Like Did you try the restarting the, the, the Enterprise? <laughs> oh, that's the one thing I didn't do. Restart it. Oh, my God. Um, did, you re- did you reset the PRAM? <laughs> yeah. It's just, we know so much about technology now and about computers, and so many people are more literate, computer literate. Like That's my, true. That's my, true. My yeah. parents, you know, who, like, grew up sucking sand, you know? Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're just, they just grew up in the desert. <laughs> yeah, back in 89, only yeah. the, you know, the super nerds would be yeah. understanding the jargon yeah. they're playing down here. Right, but now, right. now everyone understands, like, the jargon and how everybody can understand, like, them calling, you know, whether you have an Apple or, or, or an iPhone, whether, whether like, I have an issue, I can't hear my grandson. It's Sir, have you tried restarting it? Oh, you know, and then you start <laughs> it and then it works. That's literally the concept that's, that's at play here. Right, um, right. But okay. So the episode starts off and the enterprise, again, they're going somewhere, come back. They're, they're helping space truckers, some bullshit, dude. Yeah. They're always helping people. Yeah. They're never actually exploring that much. <laughs> for, yeah, for a vessel they, that was made for exploration they're always hauling something or taking somebody they're like the space uber it's a little rare like there was that one episode where they approached like a sun that's going supernova and they were like yeah let's check it out but that's yeah 
It's not very common, it was, honestly. It was accidentally because they were on their way to somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And they had some um, time, apparently. I think that s- opening credit narration is a lie. <laughs> yeah. Well, what yeah. was what was it? To explore a strange new world. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No. They're not explaining shit, dude. When the fuck has that ever happened? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess technically they explored a strange new world in this episode. That technically did uh, happen. <laughs> more like a strange old world. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Is is there an episode? Uh, okay, I'm gonna pitch an episode. In fact, many had gone there before. That's true. <laughs> um, it, I'm gonna pitch an episode of the show that I would write, oh, and yeah. then oh, you want to know if it exists? Yeah, it exists. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Um, they go to like some sort of planet, and they they go to like imagine like the Ant Man planet. There's a Pym guy there and he's like oh mm. we can make things smaller bigger we could load whole thing whole, a bunch of like cargo to take to other other planets and we just throw them and throw them in your ship and we could take we could feed all these poor planets or whatever you know diplomatic uh missions and all that stuff and they're like all right but then they're like oh and then they they, they miniaturize the enterprise and then they go into somebody's body like like inner space mm. the movie inner space is that That's a pretty is that classic episode? sci-fi plot yeah. Well, th- there is no episode where something like that happens. There is like an a- episode in DS9 where someone gets tiny. Oh, okay. Um, okay. That's about it. <laughs> that's okay, about okay. as close as All we right. can get to that. But. The Ant-Man episode. <laughs> All right. Um, so this episode. So no magic school uh, bus. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they're, they're not. The Enterprise isn't going into anybody. The, the Enterprise can't compete with the magic school bus. The magic school yeah, bus yeah. is. Yeah. Is all powerful oh yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of sorcery going on uh so <laughs> they're going out to the uh to the safe zone or the neutral the quantum zone whatever it's called yeah sure. um and they're 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 going out there and there's a bunch of scoundrels over there dude <laughs> that, that that sex pirate probably lives over there dude <laughs> probably he probably yeah. does hang out in the neutral zone yeah yeah the, yeah. the outrageous Elkana. yeah 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 because there's probably no rules over there about you know yeah fucking um and then so they're they're going they're they got hailed by this other ship mm-hmm. and the sister ship which is the okana mm-hmm. nope is it the kind nope. no the ya- oh the no it's a yamato they actually yamato. had mentioned the, the yamato in a previous episode at one point but didn't they didn't they meet up with the captain when they when they when they had those space huggers the alien the the last episode of the I'm season sorry. W- wasn't the the okana in the last uh, last season the last episode didn't they meet with that captain before? Uh, no. Th- when they met and they're like, hey, there's something sketchy going on with the Federation. Like, no, that was a different ship altogether, I think. Oh, the I Yamato, think the I think they, they thought they uh, encountered it when they were talking to, um, remember that episode where Worf and, and Riker kept seeing like, they were in like a thing where they kept seeing themselves? Yeah, or, right. Or, or, it, it's or, when I think, they I think that was supposed the- to. Yeah, it's when they encountered the Geico loop. gecko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That and was they a Yamato. They saw the Yamato. Hey, hey, I'm Rango. Uh, <laughs> I made myself look like you guys. <laughs> yeah, that was the Yamato. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I didn't look human at all. No. Um, all right. So in this Looks episode, like the, the Yamato, uh, the Yamaha tire ship, um, <laughs> they, they're like, hey, there's some, there's some, some shitty going, some shitty shit going on over here, dude. Come and help us. So uh, they're going, and is it me or is is I was gonna say Huxley? Is, <laughs> is Wesley wearing a new outfit, like different color? No, he's, it, he's been, been wearing been that gray? for a little bit. Yeah, oh, okay. he's been wearing it for a little bit. <laughs> uh, all right, so they're gonna go meet this the ship, and they like Data finds this, like an odd reading, and he's like, oh, "There's something sketchy going on." And mm-hmm. Riker's like, "Yeah, what's what's up with that odd reading, dude?" And he's like, oh, "No, we're, we're gonna figure it out. No, no problems. No problems here, Captain." Uh, and so they, they finally get into visual range and they talk to this captain, Captain Donald. Mm -hmm. And I will say this about this episode. This episode was like a throwaway episode for me. Don't, don't care for it too much. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Mm -hmm. bad. It just wasn't interesting. It didn't keep my, uh, my attention. Mm -hmm. Um, um, but this captain, this actor, I wanted to talk about him because there's a lot of actors in, on TV and movies and plays and, and stuff that you watch them and you're like, uh yeah like you see the artist you know what i mean you like see the work right like, right uh, and then there's people who you're like that's a real person that they literally just got a real person and they put them in there like and mm. this is one of those actors that the, the captain uh of the yamada uh donald mm-hmm. captain D- donald he looks like one of those actors where you're like oh man I, I i totally like believe it it's people like him and like harry dean stanton where they're like you're like they're mm. just regular people that 
happen to be in movies, but I got that vibe and I think he, he's a really good actor and I, I want to know more about him. He is very natural in the role. Yeah. Like, yeah, he, yeah feel, he, feel, he feels, um, unfortunately, uh, I don't think we'll learn anything more about him. Yeah. He, he did explode. Spoilers. Yeah. Well, I mean, I meant like, <laughs> I meant like the actor, like it, it, it instantly I was watching it and he, he stood out like, Oh wow. Like he's, it, he just kind of fits in or other oh, people, I see. other people look like, Oh, look at me. I'm in a sci-fi show. <laughs> he was just like, he seemed like, ah, uh, like grizzled, like, ah, uh, I've seen so much shit, dude. Uh, fucking Yamada, dude. His name is, uh, is Thalmas Rasulala. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And, uh, he passed away fairly early, age 51. Um, Dang. actually, um, this episode was shot like two years before he passed away. Actually. Really? Um, really? Yeah. And, um, he seemed to have like a fairly middling career. He apparently was lots of black exploitation stuff, some Twilight mm. Zone stuff. Just, uh, you know, he, bit, bit parts here and there. He's a, he's a working actor, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and that's that's those are the type of actors that really kind of stick out to me. Like, oh, the, those are the ones that like are memorable. If that makes any, any <laughs> it's the characters like in the background that they're just mm. re- they feel like real. Those are the ones that always stick out to me. And stuff. Yeah, they're but, not um, performative. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. They just like, living in the role, sort of. Thing. Yeah, 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 dude. Um, yeah, yeah. so I like this guy a lot. Um, and he basically says they, they, they're basically in the quantum zone and <laughs> you, you see them, you see like the light they're shutting off in their ship and like things, things are going haywire over there and they can't figure it out. And their engineering guy is like, there's some shit going on. We, we were, we were exploring this archeological dig and they're looking for the, I don't know who they're looking, they're looking for the Iranians or some shit like that. <laughs> uh, like I the first, it was the like, Iconians. Yeah. Like the first civilization, right? Yeah. Something like that. They were just an yeah. early civilization from a few yeah. thousand years ago. Or something. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, we came back and, like, some shit's going on. And immediately, again, dude, I fucking hate this about this goddamn show, dude. I like this show, <laughs> but I hate this. That no one goes, hey, let's get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, we, our technology, let's just fucking back the fuck to up. To be fair, let's to be fair, uh, actually, Deanna Troy does say, maybe we should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> But, but no one listens to Troy. No one ever no, listens to no, her. No, no, no. <laughs> That's good advice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, but no one, no one, like no one in the background goes, and none, one of those idiots in the back that just next to goes, hey guys, uh, remember we almost got killed at Z1, <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 99 times. 99 <laughs> times we've almost died. We should just hang out back here. Yeah. It's not really worth it. Yeah. Yell at them and back the fuck up, dude. Because what if, what if, what if this thing is is biological? We don't know anything. Someone could sneeze. Like everything's so volatile in space. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they're like they're like ah, everything's going haywire over here. And they're like we we came looking for the civilization. We're looking for Iranians, and like it's crazy <laughs> over here. We, we turn. I, I thought they were just myths, but it turns out that maybe this civilization did exist. The, this captain's really excited about this fucking find. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then things start to go haywire, and then the screen goes blank, dude. Yeah. You start getting, like, static. And then for a while, I thought, because the screen went, like, a weird color, and then the the captain's eyes was, were flashing. I'm like, oh, fuck. He's a lizard person. He's a lizard <laughs> person, and he took him. Yeah, so it I does thought, look really weird. Right? Yeah. So I like, like the white. Yeah. yeah. So I thought, oh fuck, these guys, they're they're fucking lizard people. Like, let's, let's fucking shoot them, dude. And then they're they're trying to fix the transmission, and they're like, oh, so, like something, some shields are decaying, blah, blah blah. And then boom, the ship explodes out of fucking nowhere, dude. Yeah. And I was like, fuck yeah, those lizard people were gonna fucking attack them. So good, <laughs> good thing. Good, good for them, dude. Yeah. And like a piece of the ship comes at them and it like hits the Enterprise. That was crazy. Yeah, it's cool. I, I like the effect of uh, how um the saucer section is like exploded away from the warp yeah. drive section and it's yeah. like disintegrating. Yeah. You can see how like the hull is like burning off. It's yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. It's right. Cool. It's, it's supposedly like a, a matter antimatter like chain reaction that causes yeah. this. And so they try to yeah. come up with some like unique weird effect to like show the yeah. enterprise. I think it's the, the first Diana, time we've seen like, an, a matter antimatter explosion. Yeah. 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 I guess so. Yeah. yeah it looks and cool. And so, so then the, uh, the Romulans. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. Yes. They, they, are the Romulans. they roll up and cause they're in the quantum zone and they're like, Hey, <laughs> like, they're like, Hey, what do you, what, what the fuck are you guys doing here? Cause they appear, they're all shielded. Right. And yeah, like, yeah. And then the enterprise is like, wait, what are you, you doing? Shielded. <laughs> what are you doing here? This thing has exploded out of nowhere spontaneous combustion 
uh, what are you guys doing here? And they're like, no, nothing. We're just fucking, this is our fucking, this is our turf, bitch. You're, <laughs> you're, you're like, also, how do they know where the quantum zone starts? No, it, it's, it's clearly defined. No, they're like really? star maps that they're yeah, always Yeah, this is a star map. So you can okay. actually look up a quadru- like a, a map of like, uh, like known parts of the galaxy uh-huh. where, where they all go through. And like, there's like, you know, Alpha Quadrant, which is where Earth's, Earth's Quadrant is. And then there's like Delta Quadrant, which is the quadrant that Voyager gets lost in at the start of Voyager. And like, Are there it, only four quadrants? I think there are actually only four. Yes. Yes. But, Delta. Uh, uh, um, along what axis are they broken? It's like a, it's a, it's like a square. Uh, they, they just divided it up that way for some reason. Lame. I don't know if I, I, don't as know far if as I, I remember, understand I, this correctly. Yeah, I haven't seen that diagram in like a decade. So <laughs> I don't, okay. I don't know. So, for sure. so there's literally like a border where you can yeah, just yeah, like it's stand literally on the edge a defined border. Yeah. Yeah. And That's all of their weird. computers and navigation systems should know that, Hey, you're, you're, you're there about should be to like enter. a space buoy. That <laughs> yeah, says like yeah. you are now entering the neutral <laughs> yeah. quantum zone. You're free to fucking Get kill seals here. over here. <laughs> yeah. You are now you free see- to shoot your Romulan <laughs> music videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No permits are necessary in the yeah, quantum yeah. zone. The yeah. Romulans always look like they're shooting a goddamn music video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there are four quadrants. It is the Alpha Quadrant, Beta Quadrant, Gamma Quadrant, and Delta Quadrant. Yeah. And Delta if Quadrant wanna, is the most remote. If you want to poach seals, singers named <laughs> seals, you go out there to the to the forbidden zone. You want to gamble. So, yeah. Yeah. If you uh, want to get a hooker yeah eh, you can go to the, the, the no there's plenty holodeck, of regular holodeck. planets there's plenty of yeah, hooker yeah. planets yeah yeah, yeah yeah so anyway so you they they they're like what the fuck you doing here what are you doing here and then the the romulans get brave they're like you know what we're gonna give you the kind of fucking ten to get the fuck out of here dude this is our fucking turf you idiots yeah. uh and then the captain's like okay no problem here ma'am um and they they're like was that that they're like that's weird that like they were shielded and then like the chip blew up like they're they're very sketched out but then so are the romulans Mm -hmm. um and then um they're trying to figure out what the fuck happened to the ship you know so they they download how does that work you think you think a federation ship shows up near you and then like wi-fi they just transfer the logs or are they constantly uploading the logs the captain i don't know they didn't quite explain it um, no, they didn't cloud. at all. Yeah, I, I guess they just grabbed it while they were nearby. Yeah, yeah. or maybe, maybe they did explain a, it, and we just didn't pay enough. I think attention. they arranged yeah. for a transfer of the logs because the captain of the Yamato was like, "Hey, shit's going down. We oh, need your yeah, help. Yeah, that's probably please what look happened. at our oh, shit yeah, yeah, yeah. and check it out for us." Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. probably what happened. Yeah, because yeah. they were like, but, but in general, like I, I know th- in this case they they did that, but you think there's a cloud system where they're like, "Oh, we just uploaded as a cloud." That I'll would look. make sense, but I'm not sure if that concept necessarily existed. For, yeah, like, I don't. I don't think they dis- designed that yet. Um, like, I think w- if someone came up with that, they would attribute that to like an alien race, like the like the Binars or something. Yeah, yeah they're like they're essentially like they, a cloud based <laughs> society. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're like the they started iCloud. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, <laughs> they they're like they're like oh so they're looking through these logs and you, the you see the the captain captain donald well first of all you just you they're they're trying to figure out what went wrong and then jordy figures out like the there was like the the thing you mentioned which is the matter antimatter like thing that happened in engineering mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. they blew the fucking ship up but a lot of sketchy shit was happening before that the, like the lights were turning on everything was malfunctioning it's all fucking up basically yeah 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 and and so Picard's like, well, so what the fuck happened, dude? And he's like, well, it could have been like a, it could have been like maybe something that was defective on the ship, but we don't know. And so um, they're debating what could have gone wrong, and um, they're trying to figure out, well, you know, is it an in- isolated incident or were, were the the Romulans? Should he fucking shoot them down? Those bastards. <laughs> uh, and it's very sad because like everyone died in the Yamada. Like yeah, literally, a thousand people are dead. Yeah. So <laughs> it was pretty, it's pretty fucking serious, dude. Yeah. And Wesley um, saw it all. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. yeah. And uh, that's it's what. A, it's a good reason to not have Wesley on the bridge. Uh, let's not yeah. traumatize this 15 year old. Is he 15? Well, he, he was, was so, he was so close to genocide. killing everyone himself yeah. that I don't yeah. think that that's an issue for him. <laughs> those, he's like, he's like, those are rookie numbers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, he's he's like, oh, finally another taste of the murder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, yum 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 yum. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's so like the, Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, yeah. He's like more more souls. Uh, and so, <laughs> so fucking kept the cards, yeah, kept, kept the cards looking at the of the captain's logs. And it's funny to watch these logs. Like, there's never. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, there's never. We- Aren't there ever weird captain's logs when other people are watching them? There's gotta like, be right. There's gotta be right <laughs> because because they kept saying there's a difference between captain's log and personal log, and he was also saying yeah. personal logs. So yeah, personal yeah, logs yeah. could be like personal log. Uh, I tried a new thing out in the holodeck today. Yeah. <laughs> Not to self. Honestly, if you're on a a Federation ship, what's the point of a personal log? Yeah. (laughs) That you record. That everyone can see later anyway. (laughs) Yeah, it's like, (laughs) how how personal do they expect these personal logs to be? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like, Like Tasha's was hers, like, personal log. I slept with a robot. (laughs) (laughs) And you know what? I do it again. Yeah, do it again. <laughs> um, but don't tell anybody. Personal log. Don't you dare tell my secrets. <laughs> Everyone's just watching it. Uh, with that said, though, if I were actually trying to keep logs inside, you know, a, a video format like that, I would probably want a little more structure than what we're seeing here. Yeah, I also yeah, just yeah. probably it's like it's the equivalent of you're at your workplace. The whole ship is basically your workplace. Uh, so I basically probably just never do a personal log. <laughs> They're that, all working that, that's from home. Point. It's like, you don't want to do weird you? shit on work computers, you know. Although I, I like the format of it, Dan. This reminded me a lot of like if someone was doing a search on like her story or like telling lies, where it's just, a little he, bit sure because he was like, oh, uh, anything that re- mentions uh, Romulan, Romulans or Iconia, and it just showed him all in a row, and I was like, ah, oh wait, that's right. I forgot that that the list of clips that or that all of the bits that Picard saw were excerpts because of a search. Yeah, it, they happened to contain a word. All so right, that, that like, actually oh, that actually yeah. dispels my con- uh, my earlier comment about like the formatting of it. Oh no, yeah, yeah, mind, yeah. That's why they showed up. Yeah, and it, I think it's a fun way to to do the exposition. No, um, no, I totally agree with you now. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. I like. And um, yeah, so. They, they apparently like they brought on a piece of the of the like relics a relic piece yeah yeah like yeah. the ark of the covenant type of shit dude mm-hmm. <laughs> and they they brought it from the archaeological dig uh they were like in they were looking f- in like da- anus three or whatever the fucking <laughs> it's called and 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 so there's a lot of shit like that where like the captain's like oh D- captain donald's like oh i hope uh, i can convince fucking picard to like go back because like there's a lot of cool stuff down there and shit so uh, you you realize like <sighs> shit's getting crazy, dude. Yeah. But then um, they're they're still trying to figure out what's going on, and there's like there's a little bit of a standoff, and and then and then there's there's this weird scene with Wesley. Do you have, yeah. Wait, do you have the audio for that? No, turn? I didn't. I didn't pull anything for this episode because it's I, just like Wesley comes in and he's he feels I feel like is he traumatized or he he's just trying to figure out like man how do you deal with pressure. Like that's basically it. Like how do how do you how do how I think do yeah I think I think the scene is trying to say like how do you deal with like a heavy traumatic event and because uh, mm-hmm. that's essentially what he saw and I think mm-hmm. uh, the Picard in his way is trying to but you know Pic- he's, he's being more personal than he usually is but usually Picard doesn't talk to people especially children very well. What I found <laughs> notable about well okay there's actually two uh, things about this scene. I think it's the very first time he's just gone up to replicator and demanded Earl yes. Earl Grey hot. Yeah, yeah, his his catchphrase uh T Earl Grey. Is this, Grey is this the first time? This yeah. is the first time. Yeah, this is oh. the first time his catchphrase was said. Um, and but, he's thwarted. He doesn't even yeah, I know, get it. Yeah, the very first time he wanted it, it he gets a fucking potted plant. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, I found that really like, oh wow, I I didn't realize that the very first time his expectations are subverted. <laughs> Take that, Abrams. Um, <laughs> um so um he's talking he's talking to Wesley and he's like, Oh, eventually with your training and stuff, you'll fucking you'll you'll be a badass, dude, and you just fucking deal with it, dude. Yeah. You know how I deal with it? With a little fucking Earl Grey, motherfucker. Yeah. And he goes to order some <laughs> Earl Grey and a pot, uh, like a plant shows up. Yeah. And then and then Picard just snaps because that was yeah. his coping mechanism. And, yeah. he didn't get it. and he's like blood what vessel the pops fuck, in his dude. Head. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Wesley, get the fuck out of here, dude. I'm gonna tear this room apart. Starts throwing <laughs> shit at Wesley. <laughs> yeah. Actually That's I, how you deal with it. 
<laughs> yeah. The other thing I found notable about the, that uh, exchange is that he's kind of in the middle of like giving one of his usual like, you know, inspiring speeches, but that malfunction kind of cuts him off. Yeah, it really he doesn't get him to off. finish yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He he's like, doesn't what even f- get to finish what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, he's about to talk and he goes, now that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> he doesn't know what else to do from there. Yeah, no, like I was like kind of sitting there. I was like, hey, man, you're, you, you, you're teasing me here. I wanted the end of the Picard speech. No. I no. wanted to hear about how if one death fails to move us, then we've lost our humanity. But you couldn't even say it. Listen. Yeah, yeah. And it's a really cool scene because you're like instantly you're like, oh, my gosh, dude. They're going to fucking die, dude. This yeah. ship's going to blow up just like last <laughs> one. But of course they don't because, you know, that would be. That'd be the end of the show. Yeah. Though it would be really cool if they just blow up the ship and they're like, ah, everyone died. Uh, we're going to recast it. And they just recast <laughs> it and they're like, we built the Enterprise 2 or 3 or whatever. whatever Has it ever at. happened in a show where like an entire cast is recast? Mm, that'd be an entire though. cast. I mean, that'd be a pretty fucking shocking episode. Yeah. It'd be like it the also- opposite of like like a American horror story, right? Cause the American horror story like brings back the same actors for a different yeah, premise, yeah. right? Yeah. This would be very cool. That would be a great fucking pilot episode, dude. Imagine like, you're like, yeah, we got fucking Timothy Oliphant in this and blah, blah, blah. And they, they <laughs> advertise it. And then you watch the pilot and then they fucking die the first episode. And then you have a bunch of unknowns that are like, what do we do? That's what they did with transformers. Um, I forget. It was on the hub, like the animated version of Transformers, like Transformers. It might have just been called Cybertron. No, it wasn't Cybertron. It was like a generic name. Like, let me look, let me look it up really quick. But basically, it was called Michael Bay's Prime. Yeah, Michael Transformers Bays. Prime. Yeah, it was called Transformers, Transformers Prime. And basically, what it was is, uh, it started The Rock as um in the first episode, and you're like, really? oh, The Rock's that. in this. Oh, that's cool. And he's playing, I think, Longhorn. He's like playing like a cool guy. But the, oh. it's like it's like the start of uh, the X Men animated show. They kill him off in nice. the first episode, so just to, to raise the stakes instantly. It's like more yeah. dying in X Men. Yeah. So like, it, but then you're like, oh, well, that's why it's The Rock because yeah. they need a big name. Yeah, yeah, like the issue with a premise like that is just how industry savvy everyone's become. It's like yeah, you know, yeah. they'll follow the news and be like, oh, this this person, this person involved. Oh, I wonder how much. Oh, not not really all that involved. It looks like from the contracts and things. Yeah, and then they're probably gonna die in the first yeah, episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that'd be a cool concept, though, like storytelling concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But anyway, look, uh, this is not a good episode for me. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fucking chug along on this thing <laughs> um anyway uh shit starts going r- wrong and then uh, uh jordy's trying to figure out what what the fuck's going on and then at one point they find this like little probe that's kind of floating around right yeah it's like a little electric moon yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes towards- that's no moon <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, an easily renderable sphere <laughs> yeah yeah and they're going to easy. They're going to use a tractor beam to suck <laughs> it in, are. and and then uh, Jordy figures out that like, oh, if oh, we, sure. it's going to fuck us up, dude. If we if we use a tractor beam, because then we're, we're completely fucked. Yeah, um, this virus will just take us all over. And so he gets in the turbo lift, and that scene is funny. This this episode's worth yeah. it for this fucking scene. It, it starts off almost JJ Abrams like with like the running through the ship. That's very yeah. Abrams. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. then you get into the, the turbo lift, and then yeah. it becomes a comedy. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, um, there's it, you're like, oh, there's almost a, the JJ Abrams like Dutch angle where you're walking, you're like, yeah, someone's Hand walking through and like, walking, yeah, Whoo! and then yeah. like it, it, it Dutch angles, and then there's like a fucking lens flare, uh, um, almost, but then I was he, thinking he, more like breaking two. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, dancing yeah, all over yeah, the room, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> It's and funny because so, it was like because you know like in, in Abrams he's when they're running through it's like twenty people in the way he says get yeah. out of the way get out of the way when Jordy runs through the hallway it's like one guy he's like get yeah, out yeah. Of the way. <laughs> so so get out of the way Harold <laughs> they throw Jordy around the elevator <laughs> and then he ends up on the roof he ends up and I was thinking if the elevator the triple lift's going that fast for him to get sucked up to the roof he's dead dude when that thing stops <laughs> oh oh yeah yeah he, he should have been liquefied <laughs> yeah, yeah. the speeds he's going. It, but the funniest part is when he arrives on the bridge, he it gets like launched up. up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so cartoony. Yeah. Like you, you like you kind of are fearing for him until he gets launched out of the turbo yeah. lift. And then you're like, ah, what yeah, a like, car. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. the, it's funny because the shot is a wharf and then the turbo lift opens. And the, the thing is, it's not like the door opens and there's nothing. There's no turbo lift. And then like the turbo lift comes in and then it launches Jordy. Like the turbo lift was there. There's no reason for him to like do a somersault. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> stupid, dude. But he lands against the wall and he's like, don't do that. And they, they blow it up and they're like, they destroy the, pr- the probe and stuff. Yeah. I will um, point out that I, I do like how when Jordy tells Picard something and like Picard trusts Jordy enough that even though he's on the instantly. floor, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. just like, all right, I'm going to do it. Yes. He, I know. Yeah. I know he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. He's like, destroy the probe. And, and Picard's like, not like, well, uh, why see what happens? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. He's like, he's like, Worf, shoot that fucking shit. And poof, they blow it up, dude. Yeah. No, no yeah. questions, no questions asked, asked. Yeah, exactly. I feel like if Jordy had said, shoot this man, he's an imposter. <laughs> like Picard would be like, fuck it, let's shoot him. <laughs> he but instantly Riker. shoots Riker in the face. <laughs> it's Riker, dude. <laughs> he's like no 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 the man behind him oh. um damn it dude Ooh. not again go go tell miles o'brien to replicate yeah it. I can go back yeah. to the, let's go to the transport and bring it back from the dna we have that's fine uh it's a lot of off, there's a lot of off-screen episodes where this happens this Riker's is like, yeah, actually yeah. like a 10th Riker. Uh-huh. Riker's like oh my god what happened this time <laughs> like, well we shot you in the face dude yeah um so anyway, they, 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 they can't figure out what's wrong. So they, they're going to go look at, in this like ancient planet, these, these Aztec ruins. They're going to look at them and see what the fuck's going on. Mm-hmm. And old fucking, and the fucking Romulans show up too. Yeah. And they're trying to start some shit, dude. Yeah. Oh, one, one really quick thing, just to really quickly explain the reason why they're having trouble is that the logs contain a bit of the Iconian computer program yeah and it's basically just rewriting their computer systems so yeah yeah that's yeah. they have to figure out a way to stop it. they update it to big sur and they can't go back. <laughs> they're like, out of what yeah. the fuck yeah they're in the middle of updating their os and they're yeah. all the, the our computer specs aren't ready for it yeah and it's, yeah, it's yeah. fucking it up <laughs> yeah. you're like oh no how do we go back and you're like well yeah you gotta just let it install and then go back to safe mode and then delete it uh <laughs> same same exact exact thing yeah so, it's just, yeah it's literally that yeah yeah, yeah. And so the Romulans are like, we told you fuckers to get out, dude. We're going to fucking shoot you, dude. Um, and then the, the, the Romulans are about to disappear because that's how they fight. You know? Yeah. Yeah. We, we establish this, they, they disappear and then they fucking shoot. Fucking cowards, dude. For, for a race, <laughs> they're kind of like Klingons. And they're like, they're, we have a lot of fucking honor. They're really fucking cowards, dude. Yeah. I, th- I think for Romulans, it makes more sense because Romulans are actually like a lot of like 90% of what they do is like espionage and subterfuge. So for them to cloak a lot, I think makes sense to me. What never really made sense to me is that Klingons also cloak a lot. And it's like Klingons yeah. are like these big, like really alpha male warriors who are like, I'm going to charge head first into you. Not even alpha male, just alpha in general. Alpha, yeah, just, female yeah. alpha. Yeah, yeah, alphas in general. Like yeah, they're, they're, they're all like just fuck, like, dude. I'm yeah. gonna, I'll fight you with my head. And, yeah. You know, like it's weird that they cloak as well. I don't know. Yeah. I always thought that was a bit odd. cowardly, um, <laughs> but anyway, they the 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 Romulan ship starts to fucking go awry, dude, and they're like, "Fuck you guys, you did this to us, you fucking idiots," and they're all blaming each other and shit. But then, like, you guys have a probe, destroy your probe, you fuckers. You guys like so everyone's it's a lot of confusion in this episode. Yeah, yeah. did you did you get the virus? No, did you get the virus? <laughs> a lot of fucking idiotic things going on. And then um, uh, Picard and, and the away team go down and to, to the Incan ruins and they're trying to look for <laughs> some bullshit to figure it out. And uh, long story short is that he, they find that like maybe that's the root of what, where all the races came from. They don't know. It's just it's just old ruins, but it looks sci fi ish. So they're not very old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, think, I think that basically they're like, oh, we know that there are some we know of some races or cultures in this area yeah. and the Iconians are probably the root of them. And then data yeah, basically yeah. does very, very quick language understanding shit and he gets it all. He's like, Oh yeah, that's what's going on. Um, this is yeah. how the language works. Yeah, um, yeah. But then he presses the buttons and he turns out he's wrong. <laughs> yeah. He's a fucking idiot, dude. Data fucks up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, And so data gets infected too. Yeah. He, he starts malfunction. He's like, bleep, 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 bleep. Yeah. Uh, and he, he's not making any fucking sense. And well, he's, he's he's trying. He, he actually is just that his motor functions are fucked, so he can only talk like I door yeah. open. It's kind of like that that lady in Total Recall. It was two <laughs> weeks, two weeks. <laughs> Data's mouth starts opening up. Yeah, Arnold's yeah, yeah. under it, but then De- uh, Deanna Deanna Troy is is very like oh spooked out. She's like oh god oh shit something's going on. 
I don't know why I was talking like Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh. Um, so um, <laughs> data starts malfunctioning, and and like then there's like a portal, right? There's like a portal, yeah. That the Iranians made, and like no one knows where it leads to. <laughs> yeah, and this is supposed to be the horrifyingly advanced like technology yeah. that can't fall into the wrong hands because it's it's instant travel that is undetectable. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. And it, it just can, seems like they got better transporters. Yeah, yeah basically, yeah. that's what it Which is. Which I feel yeah. like I feel like in like ten years they'll have better transporters that work that yeah. way as well. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's like it's like Jason Statham has been working with Iranians to build better transports, you know, and that's that's where he's going on his it's like transporter episode zero. He was, yeah, he was yeah, with dude. the Iconian. Yeah, I mean, considering uh, how um, advanced transporters already are, it is yeah. a little hard to understand just why this. Uh, this step up is that catastrophic? Um, because this is the iPhone 12 transporter. <laughs> it's the <laughs> best one <laughs> this year. Next year, we'll be in another planet that has better fucking transporters. Don't this worry. transporter has a much more improved yeah. camera. Got three lenses, dude. Three lenses. One regular, one zoom, and one wide. <laughs> but we've removed another jack. We're yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't plug in your headphones. Um, <laughs> so, God damn it. Apple, if you want to sponsor us, give us a shot. No, um, Apple sponsors no one. No, nah, no. Nah. They, they, <laughs> they spit on everybody. Um, Just leave a review on Apple Podcasts. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apple's going to delete all our fucking reviews. <laughs> How no dare way. you even mention us? <laughs> yeah. It's a potential we, sponsorship. Yeah, if you're going to mention us, mention the iPhone 13, <laughs> which is our new product. Would they go to 13 or would they skip it because it's unlucky? No, they, they'll, 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 I think they'll make it work. They'll just do it and be like, we're, we're Apple. We'll make it lucky. Yeah. 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 I think they'll only call floors it the, turn. It'll be the it, iPhone B. <laughs> yeah. The one and the three will just meet together. And oh, then, <laughs> I see. I see. It'll be the iPhone I don't, B. I don't hate that. So anyway, uh, data st- really starts going nutty, dude. And so uh, the the captain's like, "We have to figure out where this fucking portal leaves. I'm gonna go through the portal. You get data back to the fucking ship." And yeah, because we have to mention the portal is cycling between random locations, and one yeah. of them appears to be the Enterprise. Yeah, and also one of them appears to be the Romulan ship. How which is weird. weird. Yeah, which is very convenient. Yeah, yeah. That, how that- how ridiculously convenient yeah. <laughs> he's like he's like i'm gonna go in and out either end up at on the romulan ship the enterprise or ancient greece we don't know <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that's what it basically is yeah, yeah. Um, or like canada it looks like one's like <laughs> although one of them just looks like a city right like yeah. the rogan's on the other side he's like uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> smoky as shit dude uh so 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 um he he, he 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 tells he tells uh Worf, hey get over there tell him how to you know tell him uh how to fix things and blah blah and we're gonna leave over here i'm gonna go and the thing is that it's not cycling that fast no the transporter nope. it's it like it's easier for him to go hmm, is this one this one another price uh, no it's not uh but yeah. it's really risky <laughs> something uh, that i find <laughs> funny about that scene is that picard just starts relying on Worf to be a timekeeper yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just like, like hey, uh, how, how long has it been since the last cycle? And Worf knows, like, it, like yeah. it's his job. Yeah, like, that's yeah. what I was talking about that with Sarah. I was like, why would, why would, he, wouldn't you look at your tricorder or something yeah. else? The time, like, why would you trust yeah. Worf of all when people? When have we ever used Worf as like you know timekeeping math guy? <laughs> data would know, not Worf. Yeah, <laughs> Data should know. In but fact, he can't yeah, he should have like, been asking bleep, Data. He's like, yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, they they uh, so Worf goes in. He ends up in the Enterprise. He goes first. Yeah. Which is weird. Like, you think the captain would be like, I'll go first in case I end up in fucking Canada. Then don't go <laughs> in, you know, go. We'll just wait a bit. Uh, but he sends them through and, and they just appear on the bridge. And that's a pretty cool effect. I, yeah. I, dig, I did mm-hmm. dig that. It's, it's very simple. You can see how they did it. It's like they just did a two shots. One had a plate and then one. Just yeah. Walk yeah. Through. That's just fine. And so uh, they get they get data to. and just like suck out the magic Marvin. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so they take them out. <laughs> And uh, they, they're like, I don't know how to help him. Jordy's like, I don't know how to help him. Yeah. And then suddenly, uh, they think they think Data's dead, dude. Because yeah. he closes his eyes. It and he lines. never closes. Yeah, he flatlines. And he closes his eyes, and that fucker never closes his eyes. He sleeps with his eyes open. <laughs> uh, so they're like, oh, he's dead, dude. He's with fucking Wally now. <laughs> and... 
And all of a sudden, he fucking opens his eyes. I like how canonically you're like, Wally's dead. Yeah, Wally's dead. <laughs> my fucking eyes. Piece of shit. Uh, so he he like he gets up, dude, and he's he's basically on safe mode. Uh, mm-hmm. So he like literally turned himself. He shut himself off. Restore. He, he wasn't he, he, dead. He had time machines going, and he yeah. just restored from a time machine. Yeah, yeah. and he just <laughs> restored from the last one. He's he's all chipper and and like dapper, and he's yeah. like, "What did you do?" And he's like, "Oh, I just." And then Jordy figures out how to do it to the ship, basically based mm-hmm. off of what. So basically, Jordy didn't save shit. It was fucking data, dude. It was <laughs> data who, who figured it out. Right. Uh, but anyway, uh, Jordy figures it out, and he's like, "All right, we're well, we're gonna reset this whole thing." And the only thing, dangerous part of this of this setup is that they have to bring down their shields for a bit, and the Romulans could shoot them and kill them. But the Romulans are also very stupid, and their shit, <laughs> their their ship's going down. Yeah, um, and the the planet's like becomes unstable. Like there's like the, the <laughs> it's weird because I don't know why Picard stayed there so long when he could have just gone waited till till Worf went through and then waited. Okay, fifteen minutes. Okay, okay, now I'm gonna go. You know, but he waited and he was like fucking touching things and it's like why, dude? Just wait. Why, why fucking wouldn't he, turn? Why, why also, didn't he just ti- yeah? Why why didn't he just time the self destruct for him to go straight to the Enterprise? Yeah, it's not like there was there wasn't also, like a time limit. I don't know. Yeah, really yeah, weird. yeah. It, it was very sketchy on how they did it. So maybe yeah, they were has- just operating generally off of like, hey, the Enterprise could you know explode at any moment. We should do this as soon as yeah. we can. Also, yeah. they could have been running on like, hey, remember when we watched Armageddon and like the thing thing, and then Harry had to stay behind and fucking <laughs> do the thing. And yeah. they're like, oh yeah, one of us should stay in case we got to be the Bruce Willis and, and blow the, the asteroid. <laughs> right. Don't but they weren't even talking about that. No one, no one was ever talking about Michael Bay movies in this episode. <laughs> uh, but so he goes through and he, he's the, the Iranian's planet is fucking being destroyed <laughs> so he's got to go through the thing and he ends up turns out he ends up he, they, they lose him and he ends up in the romulan ship and the romulans are like ah you idiot <laughs> uh you did this to us you were fucking with our ship and at least you're gonna die here with us you piece of shit yeah. and and then picard's like Mm-mm-mm, i don't think so i don't think so bitch and, yeah and, and he just disappears dude he bounces dude he says it, it this seems character this whole section feels not like picard yeah i don't think such picard, a shit yeah picard yeah. wouldn't like be like haha fuck you as he like yeah yeah, like, yeah he just double the barrel bird, like middle yeah. fingering at them yeah <laughs> It's basically um, what he's doing. Yeah. So anyway, so um, Miles O'Brien gets him back because, of course, Miles is second best on the fucking transporter. <laughs> um, but they bring him back and and he's like, oh, man, uh, he's like, hey, get us out of here because the the fucking the Romulan <laughs> ship is malfunctioning and it's set up to self-destruct. So fuck yeah. them, which is out of character, like you said. Yeah. Like, yeah. You think he'd be like, you- hey, we're you're Start beaming your people over here. We'll save you exactly. guys. Exactly. That's what I thought he was going to do. I, was, I, think, I thought he was going to be like, oh, lock onto all Romulans in the ship immediately. Yeah. And Bring them, them in here, dude. Let's get them all. Yeah. Then they would have had to address that. But that would have been interesting. You know, the, the, maybe they could have a scene where the that Romulans were like. would have required perhaps multiple episode continuity. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a no no in the Thank in you that for era saving our lives. You know, I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, Riker's the cool guy and the smart yeah, guy. Yeah, Riker chooses to do yeah, that. Yeah, and Riker's like, hey, transmit. Uh, and he's like, hey, Romulans, be cool, chill out. Uh, my guy's going to fucking send you the, the the schematics. But let's get the fuck out of here in case that thing, the thing yeah. blows up. Uh, so they leave and, um, you yeah, know, problem solved. Uh, Captain is an asshole. This should be the name of this episode. <laughs> Captain is an asshole again. And he ended uh, up really remi- like. Sorry, go ahead. I, I was just reminded of like an analogy to uh, th- that matches how they fix the problem. Have you ever been on an? Um, uh, have you ever played an MMORPG where things just start getting really fucked up, or like oh, yeah. you know some major some players like did some shit that that was that messed up everything in the server and say, okay, guys, we're gonna have a server rollback. Yep, the Matrix Online. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and uh, you know everything for the last eight hours. Sorry, your inventory is going to roll back to whatever you had. So sorry if you're the doing funny any part quests. Is or- with the Matrix Online, uh, they, there was like this crazy gun that you were not supposed. You only supposed to have one of, and they killed the guy who had it several times in a row. So there were way too many of the gun, uh-huh. but the server admins let everyone keep it. <laughs> okay, well, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that game got really fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, because no one cared. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, <clears throat> look, 
<clears throat> I didn't care for this episode because it was just so silly, but yeah, it, it's not bad. It just wasn't like, oh man, this is this this is season one shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a little better than season one shit because I think like at least at the core of it, there's a slightly more interesting character dynamic. But I so. still give it like a six. It's not. I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a five. It's not shit, okay. but it's just like eh, I'm in the road. Yeah, um, yeah. It's okay. Like again, you could you could easily delete this from the canon and no one would miss it. I don't think anyone no cares too. about Contagion. No. Like the episode. the Only most notable Steven bit Soderberg. about this entire episode is probably that it introduced <laughs> T Earl Grey hot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's like that's, that's the most it. important thing. That for a introduced. while, I, I'm not gonna lie. I thought like, oh, is that how Earl Grey? Like traditionally, how the sub British people eat it with like a plant in a planter. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, man, Ricardo, you're high, dude. <laughs> go, to sleep, go to sleep, dude. <laughs> they, they don't ground the leaves up. They just put the whole yeah. plant in. Yeah. And just, <laughs> yeah. no, it's uh, like when you're like, hey, uh, what does a pizza from Italy look like? You look at it, it's like, yeah. wait, what? Yeah. What? That's you're like, it's, it's mostly sauce and three sauce and three pieces of cheese. Uh, and it's wet. It, yeah. It's just <laughs> wet. You, it, yeah. And you try to eat it, it just slops off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but it's they're a still, pie. they're really it's good. A, they're, yeah, yeah, yeah they I are, know yeah. that yeah. Americanized New York Earl Grey tea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chicago style Earl Grey tea. It's it's a it's a very <laughs> thick deep tea. Dish Earl Grey it's a very tea. thick tea. You know, yeah. it's a. It's, it's, it's it's you sip it like it's a like it's a like it's a porridge. In Chicago they it's, pour the sauce on top of the tea. It's a, it's a it's a it's a, Mex, it's a Mexican atole. Uh, you guys ever had that the drink? Um, I have not. I'm sorry. Uh, it's like it's it's a drink that the you you drink like during Christmas time, and it's like mm. imagine it's like it's like made with milk, and they put a they put like. They put like the stuff they make the tamales with, so it's fucking thick as shit, dude. Mm. Um, uh, they put uh, ma- uh, masa, like masa, masa flour. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the 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 stuff that they make the 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 tamales with. Uh, but it's a really thick is it totally flavor. a drink? I always thought of it as yeah. like a like a okay. I always thought it was like a soup. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, no, because it's so thick, dude. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. It's it. You 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 drink it with you. Cool. You eat like Mexican sweet bread with it, but it's thick as shit, dude. Uh, but anyway, good. Dan, what you didn't tell us what you rate rate this episode? Yeah, what the fuck do you I rate it? I think I am in agreement with Marvin. It deserves six. about a six. Yeah, it, we're like, all in the same zone. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it's, it's a very a quantum zone feeling episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's. I think the the core of it is just not that interesting an idea. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, yeah. And, and there are too many things about it that kind of feel reminiscent of elements of of episodes previously, mm. like recent episodes. Yeah, yeah. It's like with the yeah. Romulans accusing the Enterprise of yep. having sabotaged their ship when the Klingons yeah. did the exact same thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, in fact, I think that happened with the previous Romulan encounter also. Mm-hmm. Well, the previous um, Romulan encounter, yeah, they were both like. Oh, do you know what destroyed the those colonies? Yeah, exactly. It's that do sort of thing. Know? Again, it's like, hey, a third party is fucking with us and yeah. we're mad at each other for the moment, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, there, there there's that there, there's a lot of things like that that made me go like, eh, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm eh. feeling this feels too samey. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. samey. Yeah. Well, next episode's not going to be samey at all because remember Ricardo when you were first watching Measure of a Man and you yep. were like, "Oh, is this going to be like uh the the rounders?" of of tng oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah next yeah. episode the Round royale Ooh, they're literally on a casino show Hell yeah dude and what, what happens be... in royale stays in royale yeah so that's gonna that's gonna be a, a fun interesting one uh, yeah cause... oh wait i think i remember that one now yeah it's kind of a fun one it's a little stupid but it's fun uh i like it a lot it's kind of goofy as fuck yeah 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 uh, intentionally it's by design but yeah yeah also, yeah, let's um this is the first week we're going to actually uh, read out an email. Uh, so if you guys would like to send us an email, uh, you can email us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. And this week we have an email. First contact. From- yeah, this is the first contact. <laughs> uh, Star Trek have, pun. I have an email for someone named G. Uh, I believe... I can see their name in the email, but they identify themselves as G in uh, the body. So I'm just going to refer to them as G in case they don't want their name read out loud. So yeah, if you're going to send us mail, uh, whatever you sign it at the bottom, that's what we'll call you. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. So so that we don't, we don't dox you or anything. So yeah, yeah. It reads as such. Hello, Marvin, Dan, and Ricardo. I'm G. 
And since I'm emailing you at this address, I obviously have a TNG related question for you guys. This might be a stupid question, but it's not. Uh, but here goes. If you were trapped in a small vessel in the space equivalent of bumfuck nowhere with little food, water, supplies, etc., what three TNG characters would you want to have with you and why? If that question sucks, then what TNG alien or side character has been the most interesting or memorable to you? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you have a great thing going on. Thanks so much for making me laugh. Yeah. Thanks, G, for the questions. Um, can I go first? Cool. Can I go first? Oh, go for it. Yeah, go for it. I yeah. know. Okay. Number one. I will not hesitate eating somebody if it comes down to it. <laughs> <laughs> not hesitate. So like, bring the media. People, people were like, well, that's uh, like if you were stuck in the Andes with the with the rugby players. Like, nope, I fucking first day. I'm hungry. <laughs> I, we're gonna eat somebody's butt, dude. <laughs> we're gonna cut some of their their rump roast and we're gonna fucking eat it. Um, so you want somebody who you know what the lizard guy, the Geico guy. Uh, hey, I'm Rango. I, the, whole, he probably, the whole entity? <laughs> yeah, the whole entity. Take him. We'll fucking well, I mean, him, if you have him with you and he's like your friend, he could do pretty much anything for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, or you could eat him. In, in the I guess he said TNG loser. characters. You can bring anyone, I guess. It doesn't have to be it Enterprise have to be crew. crew. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't have to be Federation That's what crew. I was originally viewing it as, but you could bring anyone. <sighs> The guy, the the guy that uh, the Morlock or whatever his name is, he he breeds a thing, and he he was um oh yeah Wesley's yeah friend yeah, yeah more, more, more Morlock more, more yeah he, more he doc. probably has yeah. good his meat tastes probably good dude <laughs> um so I probably I get the feeling he'd be kind of catfish like well yeah, fishy. He probably he's probably game sushi yeah he probably That's smells fine. like shit once you cook well, him dude you know? when you're hungry you're hungry <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I've eaten tripe tacos in the streets of Mexico, dude. You think I'm scared of a little fishy <laughs> flavor, dude? <laughs> um, uh. Uh, and then third, um, I don't know. Somebody that's funny and that'll pass. Maybe Data, because like he has gotten limited information and like he, he's he. I can play games with him, you know. Like mm. and yeah, Data's an stuff. easy pick. Yeah, yeah, and, and also like- teach him some dirty fucking jokes. Like the time he <laughs> leaves, like he's gonna be fired from fucking. From the Federation, he's yeah, so he's, he's he's like a he's like a, a language algorithm that you fuck yeah. up, like, you know, like the ones they put on Twitter and they <laughs> yeah, teach him yeah, to yeah. say awful things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how you'll do it. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think almost everyone would take data at yeah. least, right? Because he's yeah. kind of important. Yeah, like he, he he's a great all arounder. Yeah, he's kind of the MacGuffin of the show. Not the MacGuffin. What is it called? Um, the Deus Ex Machina of a lot of episodes. True. He, he kind of just solves everything. He's a, <laughs> the Tim of the group. <laughs> He's the, yeah, he's, yeah. uh, well, it, like he has so much going for him. He doesn't need to breathe. So, yeah. you know, there's that. Well, he doesn't smart. need to necessarily yeah. eat. Yeah. So like he, he doesn't deplete your resources and he's nothing but a boon otherwise. And yeah. if you're, if you're Tasha, he knows how to fuck. Uh, <laughs> hey, oh, uh, all right. What about you guys? Well, I, well, I would data? bring data huh? for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't not put data. Yeah, and I was thinking. Okay, so I was thinking about this in context of the crew. So I guess I'll have to just because that's what the answer I was thinking of. But I think I would bring then Miles O'Brien Ugh. and because th- because he okay Jason Statham dude. We haven't. You're, okay. pick, you're picking the second best transporter. Dude? <laughs> I'm trying well, to limit my my picks to only people we've seen in the episodes we watched. <laughs> right. You're right. You're right. Also, Statham I could any at any point like. Roundhouse, Roundhouse kick, kick at kick. airlock yeah. and that shit we're dead and he doesn't care. Statham yeah. will survive in the coldest space, but we'll be yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, so. so Miles O'Brien, Data, and honestly, I don't think we need Worf for for in case we need to fight something because no. Data is strong Data's enough strong. to fight. Yeah, yeah. So we don't need. I might maybe, bring maybe, like Tasha, maybe Wes- Wesley, dude. No, Wes- Cause Wes- then you Wesley. can kill him, and then no one would know. Oh, we could all conspire. The three of yeah. us could conspire yeah. to kill him. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can give up a slot just to make sure Wesley's <laughs> dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no, Data, Wesley! Data, Data we tried find a loophole. So find a loophole in the Federation rules <laughs> that will let us get away with murder. And he'd be like, bloop, 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 bloop. If we uh, stab him at I the mean, same just time. finding a loophole where you are one man down, fewer yeah. resources to share. Yeah. <laughs> and you can eat him. Yeah. yeah. In no, fact, you know that's what? more resources. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, will, I would bring Jordy, actually. So I'd bring Jordy, Data, my, I'll bring the tech team and they'll figure it out. And they'll figure out a way to get us out of here. I, I, I don't want to get out. I'm just going to live there. <laughs> well, what would you pick, Dan? Well, I, I also, I already said that I would pick data. Mm-hmm. Um, I would bring along Moriarty. 
Oh, oh yeah, that's good, good Paul. Good Paul. He's like the I want Moriarty on my there. team because like yeah. if, if you're his friend, he, he you'll go places with him. I'm pretty yeah. sure. And it he, seems he knows easy what he's to, doing. It seems he would know how to kill. He would know how to kill Wesley. Yeah. Yes. He, he's, he's not <laughs> evil. It seems like you can actually make friends with him. Yeah. 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 Like so a literally if you're, if you're who's just like you know curious and wanting to know about stuff. Like yeah, you'll, you'll you'll go you'll go yeah, far with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but for the third, I don't know. Well, um, bring Pulaski, so Moriarty has some company. You know, I guess like yeah, that, you gotta that'd hear be, them that'd all the time when you But then that's just for Moriarty. <laughs> well, she's also a medic, so you true. Know, you have true, a medic that, on your you team. think she's gonna be? They're gonna be. Actually, up all speaking the time, of dude. Pulaski, we skipped over the scene where she had a scene in this episode. She was so angry. <laughs> she was really angry, but she was like also like coming, like just uh, rattling off all of these old, old forms of medicine that you know well, by twenty fourth this- century standards <laughs> were, were were barbaric. Well, it was really funny because that guy was like, "Oh, this shit's not working. I can't bro- fix his broken leg." And she's like, "We'll give him a splint." And it's the guy like, is what basically the fuck like, is a split. I have to touch you, him. You're yeah. like, wait a minute. He's like, <laughs> she's like, is that weed? No, not a spliff. <laughs> uh, uh, well, let's also really quickly answer their second question. What TNG alien or side character is the most interesting and memorable to you? I think I picked Moriarty because as of right now, he kind of is that to me. Yeah, yeah I have to agree. Yeah. But if not Pulaski, I'll just pull from the previous episode. I just uh, just bring along Mad Chinamic, uh <laughs> Shelly Johnson from Twin Peaks. <laughs> Not Anya, just just that form of yeah, Anya. Just, <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> yeah, she's cute. Why not? We're fine. Uh, yeah, I guess I. What would you think for side character, Ricardo? Um, I like Bordiardi. I like um, uh, maybe a lady friend. You know, to just talk to somebody. That's not data. Cause he'd probably get, he look, I'd like him. He'd be entertaining, but like, I don't know. Um, uh, Tasha, maybe probably Tasha yeah. or, um, I mean, I briefly considered Guyanan, but I think I would kind of get, uh, I would start feeling patronized after a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, just give me the fucking answer. Fucking <laughs> stop talking circles and let me try to figure it out. <laughs> just tell me. Stop yeah. listening. Yeah. Start stop telling. Listening. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Basically. Uh, all right. All right. We've uh, we've answered that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. You, nice question, you. especially for a very first one. So thank you, G. Yeah. yeah that was thank a great you. first question. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if, um, you've been liking the stuff we've been doing so far in general, cause sometimes we talk about other shit too. You can find that at the other things we do, for example, the fugitive frames film podcast, where, uh, we're still going to come out. You're still coming out with the MCU drunk MCU. Phase yeah, one, yeah, right? yeah. I, I, it oh, took a little longer exciting. than, than, than I thought to edit it, but it, it's coming, uh, coming yeah, along. Yeah, it'll be good. That'll uh, be good. we'll have that. That'll be released first. Uh, and then we're, and then next month, uh, we'll have another commentary for you guys. Yeah, we're still trying to, trying to figure out what what yeah. to real maybe, quick about that maybe. drunk MCU. I want to know how much of the MCU is being like covered. This, uh, so this this episode, the first episode, is Phase One. So up till Avengers. Ah, nice. Yeah, so it's mostly us defending the the Marvel movies and, and Savannah <laughs> just shitting on them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I'm kind of on her side here. A lot of those are really bad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I liked them enough at the time. I would, yeah. I would be interested to see just uh, how much my opinion has changed after however many years. It's, it's been a while now. Honestly, when I was watching, like, Iron them, Man came out in '08. Yeah, like Iron Man, I watched and I was like, this is a solid movie. This is fun. And then Captain America came out and I was like, this movie sucks. Oh, well, I like. And, and then you know, Thor. Spoilers. Came. No spoilers. I, I have a lot to say. No <laughs> all right. And, all right. and then Thor came out and I was like, ah, oh, gosh. <laughs> This is what they're going to make all this on, huh? And then Avengers came out and I was like, this is fine. Well, by the time Avengers yeah. rolled around, I had started to only view the MCU movies as like, hey, this is just set. This is just like TV yeah. superhero cartoons turn into movies now. Yeah, yeah essentially. And I was yeah. fine with that. Yeah, so I, was, I, was like, I, I wasn't mad at it. I was just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's that's what's going to be coming down the pipeline. Back in college, them. Marvin used to call everything overrated. <laughs> what do you mean back in college? <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, MCU is still overrated. Uh, <laughs> actually, I, I mean, don't believe I, that. It's funny. I, that it's like because I, I don't really have in, immense love for the MCU. It's just like <laughs> I'm OK with them being OK. Yeah, I, I do think they are 
In fact, much, I like them for how much okay. better now. <laughs> like it is a much better, more coherent storytelling now than it was in phase one. I think phase one, they're getting their bearings and they, I don't think Kevin Feige's role as head editorial guy was really cemented yet. He was kind of just pulling assets together really. And now that there's like a central person kind of pulling it all together, I, I, I think it's honestly like they're not they're not high art or anything, but I think they're decent. And I think, OK, you know, I, I view Winter Soldier as like a like the first like movie where it really came together. Yeah. Winter Soldier. I was like, they made a good movie. That was good. And then okay. after that, I'd be like, oh, yeah, Guardi Guardians on. is good. That was good. And it's yeah, like, yeah. I, I think the more they gave uh, creative control to specific directors and writers is the better the movies got as long as it stayed within their within their editorial guidelines for whatever the phase needs mm -hmm. you know like Thor Ragnarok was amazing you know I, I, I love that movie Spider-Man Homecoming was really good you know man and, I, I think Ragnarok is it's it's good but I don't think it's amazing well, I think it's amazing in the sense that Taika Waititi was allowed to just make a Taika Waititi movie with Thor and I thought that was great I thought I, I was that was awesome that he wasn't really given any like limitations. He just kind of got to make whatever he wanted. Uh, well, that's what you should do if you bother to get Taika Waititi. Exactly, which is what they ended up because there was a lot of fears that they'd be like, "Oh, they won't really let him do what he wants," but they did. They let him yeah. do whatever he wanted. But, but yeah, that's the Fugitive Frames Film Podcast, and also we have a YouTube channel, Fugitive Games. Uh, we're going through Batman Arkham Origins right now, and we're still going through Phoenix Ride Justice for All. And I'm not sure what our streaming schedule is like. We're a little bit busy these days. So we might be going back to AI Somnium Files. We might be going back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Not sure. Um, but we keep you posted with updates in those channels. But you can find all of those things at FugitiveFrames.com. Just go to that website. There'll be links to all of that there. So, yeah. And the next time we're going to watch The Royale, which will be a stupid, fun, dumb gambling episode. It's going to be fun. So uh, well, until then, we'll see you next time and stay safe, everybody. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Goodbye. Goodbye. See ya. Bye.